everybody and how are you guys doing today? I am so glad that you are here today hanging out with me today. Thank you so much for dropping in. I really do appreciate it. Um, hope your day is going great regardless of whether it be in morning, noon, or night or whatever time zone you're in. Thank you for being here. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Gabe and this is Gabe Loves Makeup and I'm a 52 year old makeup artist and I've been in the industry 30 plus years and um, I'm still in the industry and I'm still in retail and I help customers just like you every single day help make decisions on skincare, makeup, and fragrance. Um, so yeah, yeah, thank you guys so much for being here. And today, guys, we're going to be doing nothing but eyes today. We've been doing a really beautiful, um, kind of like almost like a warm summer look. I've got some beautiful eyeliners, a brand new mascara. We have two new palettes to play with, or they're new to me. Um, they may not be new anymore, but they're new to me. I also have a primer. So yeah, eye primer. So we've got all kinds of good stuff to play with today. So if you want my feedback on some of this stuff, um, I will try to leave time down, down below. So if there's something that you're interested in, you just want to skip to, you can do that. Um, yeah, definitely. Definitely join me in this little journey and let's play with some eye makeup. So yeah, let's get to it. Okay guys, so first of all, let's, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Yes, this is the elephant, the big elephant in the room. Yeah, we have a clogged pore. Where it's like an ang it's not an ingrown hair, but it's like a clogged pore from sweat and sunscreen and all that good stuff. So yeah, from working out. So yeah, that's there. So I've tried to cover it up. We have a little bit of I have a little bit of foundation on. I did a little bit. Actually, I wanted to just mention this. If you guys have never tried it, this is the Urban Decay. It's the Hydromaniac. The this tint. It's like a tint. It's supposed to be like a tint tinted glow hydrator. This is such a really beautiful makeup. It's so pretty. Um, if you're looking for a really good tint, I, I never talk about this much on my channel, but I really love this. I wore this yesterday at work and everybody was telling me how beautiful my skin looks. So it's just a really great product. But we've done did that. I did a little bit of my Bobbi Brown primer underneath. Um, I haven't done anything but just brows and that. Um, so that's all I've done so far. We have not done anything else. I did curl my lashes a little bit because we're going to be talking about a mascara in just a second. But yeah, thank you so much for being here. Um, I'm just, I've been in chaotic at work. It's just been crazy. So thank you so much for being patient with me on getting to these palettes. But today we're going to be talking about the Natasha Denona Yucca palette. Um, I'm also going to be doing the Nomad. Um, this is the uh, Okavango Safari palette. Um, we're going to be doing um, liners. I have the more of the more of the Mora. I think Mora is how you say it. Super Supernova gel liners. I have two of them. I have Electra and I have um, Rhea. I have that, and we also have a the um, this is the shade Fuchsia and uh, Natasha Denona, and then of course we have the Huda Beauty mascara, which I think I want to go into first. I also have a primer. I have the Urban Decay primer. It's new to me. I've never tried it before, so I thought we would try that today. Um, so yeah, we got some fun stuff to play with. So I think what I want to do is we're going to go straight into the mascara. I want to show you what the mascara looks like before we do any eye makeup. So you can see what the mascara does. I have been wearing this mascara for a couple days. I've tested it. I've wore it all day. And um, if you guys can see, I have very, very short, steady lashes. I do curl them, um, but I don't have super long lashes, so I don't have spectacular lashes, and if I do our mascara, it has to be something that's going to really build it up and make a difference on my lashes. So, um, if you guys kind of want my feedback on the mascara, this is what we're going to dive into first, and then we will get into the, some of the, I'll do some swatches with the palette, just so you guys can see the swatches live, um, and then we will go into the palettes, each one, because we're going to do one on one, one palette on one eye, and one palette on the other eye. So, anyway, so yeah, let's dive into it. Okay, guys, so let's Let's talk about this Huda Beauty. It's the One Coat Wow Mascara. I mean, it's the Extra Volumizing and Lifting Mascara. Um, I think this mascara is like $22, if I'm not mistaken. I didn't write it down. I don't remember, but I think it's like in the $22, $23 range. I will put it right here so you guys can see. Um, it, um, after One Coat, 98% soft instant curl and lifted lashes. They saw 96% instant length and volume. Um, it's supposed to be a one dip type mascara. Um, the wand is very unique. This is what the packaging looks like. It's really super cute. It's got Huda Beauty all wrapped around the edges here, and then it's got like the one coat here. I love a pink uh, base for a mascara. I think it's really cool. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Maybelline, the green and the pink, and it's just, and I really like that because I just think it, that's a classic mascara. Um, but this is kind of like what the wand looks like, and you can kind of see, have an idea of what it kind of looks like and how it kind of comes out. The brush is kind of, um, it's an interwoven kind of mascara wand. 
Um, so I've been using this for a couple of days. Um, I got some um, thoughts on it. Um, I really do. I think it is a nice mascara, but um, I'm going to let try it on and let you see what you guys think. Um, just in a one coat, um, just so you can get an idea. Um, but anyway, it is a little bit more of like a wetter mascara. Um, I always like to take a little bit of a tissue and just kind of blot off a little bit of the excess because a lot does come out of it. So just be careful when you do that. Um, so let's just go right in and just start applying it. So I'm just going to go in here and just just start getting in here and just working it a little bit on the right here on the top now again i don't have super big lashes so it's not like i don't i'm not one of these people that have really beautiful lashes i will leave um to i'm gonna leave charlotte holcroft video down in the description box if you guys want to check out she has really beautiful big lashes and this mascara on her looks really gorgeous and you, I will say, you if you have short lashes, the wand is a little bit more bigger. Because <clears throat> you can see it kind of fit in my eye, but you can see it gives you like volume. It does give you an immediate, immediate kind of like lift and immediate kind of. And I did curl them a little bit, so it does leave a little bit more of a really pretty lift on the lash. Um, I've noticed that since the mascara started drying out a little bit, because I've used this a few times already, like about three or four times, that it seems to be getting better. When I first pulled it out, I wasn't super crazy about it because it was a little bit too wet. But, um, but, the, but I will say, the one thing I will say about this mascara is that, um, and I'll clean that up. Don't worry about that because we haven't had it. I don't even have a shadow base on yet. Um, it does, if you've got like more straight lashes or whatever, it has a tendency to take them and make them fall so they don't stay lifted for long because it's a very heavy coated mascara if you can already see it's already wanting to kind of like they started kind of curling up now they want to kind of start falling even if you go on top and add more to it it's just because it's such a thicker mascara that and you know and i love Monsieur big and there's a lot of few mascaras that i really like this is a more thickening thick mascara i love her other mascara that she has the two brush one i forgot the name of it but um i love it it's a really great mascara and it's got the two sides to it it's an it's a really good mascara i i bought like a few of those for a while and then um i just got so many mascaras i haven't went back and bought another one uh lately once that one ran out um but this is kind of like what you're seeing is one coat so you can see the difference it does make them look more volumized it does make them look immediately more fuller um, it looks really pretty. Um, so let me just go off camera. I'm just going to clean this up real quick and come back and just, we'll just talk another few minutes about this it. This is one side with one coat and this is without. Um, I will say with this mascara, I have tried it with multiple coats. I don't like it with multiple coats. Um, it does better with one coat. Um, it, for, on me anyway, it does have a tendency to smudge a little bit on me. If you're not careful, I think once it dries down, it's pretty good. If you powder a little bit underneath your eye area, or if you don't have too much moisture, it's okay. It's not meant to be waterproof or water resistant. It doesn't say anything about that, even on the box. Um, but it, um, it, but once it dries and stuff, it stays pretty good. But I have noticed some smudging when I first put it on, um, the first day I used Used it. I did feel like it, my lash, it kind of felt a little weird on my eye. Like, I don't want to say it didn't burn or anything like that, but it just felt a little strange. Um, is it my favorite mascara? No, not really. I mean, I do like it. It is really good. And I think if you have really beautiful, long, thick, luscious lashes and you want something that's going to give you that immediately just pop immediate mascara, you would love this mascara. I think you would really love it, um, especially if you want that really thick, voluminous kind of a mascara. Um, if you're somebody like me and you have smaller lashes and you like the volume and you want the length or you want the, you like the volume, I don't think you're going to like it as much. Um, you know, it is only $22, so it's definitely something if you wanted to check out or if you're in, in the market for a new mascara, you might want to check it out. But you know what? If you've got lashes like me and your smaller eyes or whatever, personally, I would probably pass on this. Um, I'm not super crazy about it. I mean, I like it, but I'm, I'm not, not over the moon about it. So, it's not something that I would just, you know, 
tell everybody that you need to run out and get right away. Um, you know, because I just think there's just better mascaras out there. I even think there's better drugstore mascaras than this one because I'm really into the drugstore mascaras. I really love my Skylash. I really love, um, there's like one other one I can't remember all of a sudden on the top of my head, but there's like another one that I love. I love a lot of the L'Oreal ones. They're really good. They stay on really good all day. I love my long comb mascaras because not only because I work for the company, I just really enjoy them because they do stay on me, even if they're, if they're not waterproof. Um, I, there's a few mascaras that I just really love. I love my Armani mascara. I love the YSL mascara. I mean, they just, to me, they're just so much better than this. They're a little bit more, the, they're a little bit more money, but they're just worth it. Um, but it is a good mascara. I just, um, I don't see the big hype with it though. Um, but again, I will leave Charlotte's video down there. If you have big, beautiful lashes like her, you can see her immediately put it on and it looks wonderful on her. Um, but any mascara usually looks really good on her, but she likes a really thick mascara, but I will definitely leave that down there if you guys want to check it out. But, um, you know, that's my two cents on the mascara. So anyway, I'm going to put it on the other eye and then let's get into some shadow. By the way, I do have a code for Nomad Cosmetics. So if you're interested in it, I think you can receive 10% off. It's down in my thing. I also have affiliate links down below. So if you want to shop any of this stuff, I have it down below. I make a small commission off of it. I don't make a ton of money off of um, off of my links. Um, I put them down below, but I just don't make a ton of money off of them. But if you're there, if you want to try them out, um, I'm not forcing you to, you know, say, do you need to buy anything or anything like that? Um, because you know your budget better than anything. But if you're interested in these palettes, I do have codes down below and I also have affiliate links. So just letting you know that. Um, but these, are, this is not a paid video or anything like that. So just throwing that out there. Um, so anyway, so this is what the Natasha Denona palette looks like. We'll talk about her first. Um, so this is what, it's just our typical Natasha Denona packaging. It's a beautiful, almost a semi-matte top finish on the palette. It's not shiny or anything like that. Of course, it's got the little things on the back of it where you can pop the shadows out if you want. Um, so this is what the palette looks on, like on the inside. And look how beautiful she looks. A beautiful, warm palette. Um, it's got like a little bit of mixture. It's got a little bit of like maybe like a maybe, there are kind of some neutrals in there too. But it's just really, really beautiful. And then by its side, we're going to um, just kind of show you a little bit of the Nomad palette. So this is what the Nomad palette looks. The packaging is totally different. It definitely feels a little bit more like it, it feels like you're almost touching a cat is what I think I said in my video and one person started laughing because it, <laughs> it does. It feels it feels very, it's got like almost like a fur kind of a feel to it. it like a cheetah or something like that. I don't know, a leopard. It's just, but it's got that kind of a really beautiful feel to it. It's just a really beautiful packaging. Um, and then I have to watch this one so they're not as new as they were before. But this is what it looks like. In the inside, it's really beautiful. It has some really beautiful colors. This one has a cool story and a warm story in it. So you're getting a cooler story on the bottom and you're getting more of like a warmer story up here on the top. This one is more of a neutral and this is too, but this they're a little bit leaning more towards the cooler side. Um, it swatch is really beautiful. I'll try to put that up here so you can kind of see that, but we're gonna, I'm gonna be doing it on my arm as well. Um, um, Nomad Cosmetics palette. Um, I'm trying to get up a little bit closer. You guys can see, but look how pretty it is. It's very pretty. It's got like, you can see it, the, the warm. And then this is like the, some of the greens can be a little cooler and neutral. And then you have more of the cooler tones here at the bottom at the bottom of the palette. I'm not going to go through each of the names or whatever, but, um, but this is just kind of giving you an idea of kind of like what it looks like. So now let's kind of swatch the Natasha Denona palette. I'm not a big swatcher. If you're new to my channel, I'm so sorry. I'm not a good swatcher. I don't swatch well. I don't know why. I just do not. That is not, I don't do that. There's other channels that do it better than me. But anyway, it's just to give you an idea of kind of like what it looks like a little bit more up close, but it looks really pretty. See, it's got a little bit of the distinctive of a little bit of some of this together. I'm trying to get it in here together. You can see there's a little bit of similarity in some of the palette. Sorry about this one here in the middle, <laughs> but, um, but I was trying to get it all on one arm. But yeah, it's just kind of, you can see a little similarity. So I could see why people were saying, you know, it looks, the uh, Nomad Cosmetic one looks identical to it. So there is a little similarity to some of it, not completely. I'm going to try my best to do both the eyes to look, to match a little bit so they don't look too opposite. Um, and that'll be interesting to see playing with both uh, palettes if we can do that 
or not. Um, so let's do the liners and then we'll be ready to start. So first up are the two Mora liners. Um, I got these, these are like six bucks guys. So they're really not that expensive at all. I got these whenever they launched because they look super cool. So they're the multi-chrome gel liners. They're called the Supernova. And I think I can't see the color on this one. It, the green one is Rhea and the uh, more of the copper one is called Electra. This is kind of like what the packaging looks on, on the outside. It looks very luxe for it to be a $6 liner. Um, so let's try, what is it, the Electra? first. So she's the bronzy one. So let's see what she looks like on. This is the first time I've got to play with these two. Oh, she's really pretty. It's very pretty. It's like a really pretty soft bronzy color. That's really beautiful. Um, and again, you know, for six bucks, I mean, and I heard they were really good. So I'm, I'm very interested to see how they work. And this one is in the shade Rhea. Um, so she's a little bit more of a multi-chrome kind of like a green. So, ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, look at that shift. And you can use these as liner, as shadow, as all kinds of different things. So, it's really beautiful. That's really pretty. Wow, look at that. Look at the reflection on that. And the pigment is really nice. It's very soft, too. It doesn't, not hard. So, that's nice. And then, this is the Natasha Denona. Um, this is in the shade, um, what's it called? I forgot what's in the name of the shade. Oh, this is Fuchsia. So she's a little bit more of like a mustard yellow. So we're gonna put her right here down below. So that is what Fuchsia, Fuchsia looks like. So that is a really beautiful, I don't have a color like this. That's why um, I got this color because I just think this color was very unique. Um, the same thing with this kind of a green. I don't have anything like that. So I'm very interested to see. I don't know if these are like waterproof or anything like that, the Mora ones. Um, it just says it's free of parabens, sulfates, all that kind of stuff. It doesn't have that. It's eye safe. It has a built-in sharpener. It's a mechanical pencil, and it's 100% vegan. Um, and then Natasha Denoma, she's the same. There's no parabens or whatever. She's vegan as well. So that's really good if you're into something that you don't want a lot of chemicals and stuff in your pencils, or if you like something a little more vegan-free, that's really cool. But it looks really awesome. So, and just to show you, if you ever tried the Urban Decay, this is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Um, this is the original. Format. I think there's one with a color or something. I can't remember. I saw it when I was there, but it's just like a very, just a very clear, almost clearish kind of a base. We're going to be using that. So, um, so yeah, so let's get into, I'm ready to play in some shadow guys. So let's start off with our eye primer first. I'm going to take a little bit of this on my lid and kind of get started a little bit so we can kind of spread it out. It feels very, um, silky. Got a very silky. I did do a little bit before I put my brows on. I took it over where my brows were just to help with the brows staying a little bit. I just hear so much about this primer and I thought, and I don't have a ton of eye primers. So I thought we would try it, you know, just to play with it to see what we thought of it. And I got a small one. I didn't get one of the big ones. I just got one of the small ones uh, just to try it out, just to see what we thought. Because I pretty much really enjoy using my P. Louise eyeshadow base. It's always one of my favorite eyeshadow bases, as well as um, my Jacqueline. I love that one, too. Um, but this one feels a little bit like the Jacqueline. It dries down though a little bit more. It's not as tacky. Um, or as moisturizing. This one's got more of a dry down feel, so it feels a little bit more drier, um, which I'm not mad at. Um, I am going to be um, using a lot of my refer brushes today, so I've got all my refer brushes. So if you're wondering what kind of eyeshadow brushes I'm using, it's in my refer ones. I love using them with indie palettes and really pigmented palettes like the Natasha Denona. So we're going to start with the Natasha Denona first uh, with um, a little bit of Tipu. Tipu is like, she is this kind of like that kind of a muted green kind of a color. So I'm gonna go in here and really start building up Tipu first. And see what we think. Dude, that's pretty, that's a really pretty color. I'm really, um, I'm a little nervous about this look cause I'm like, I'm not knowing what either one of these doing two different palettes are gonna look like. So I'm a little worried, <laughs> but um, anyway, I'm just excited about it. I have not got to play with these. So I'm really excited to play with it. But yeah, that's a really beautiful color. What do you guys think? It's really pretty by itself. Um, so let me just wipe off my brush a little bit. I think I'm gonna go in with the same brush and um, let's do a little bit of Citrine. And Citrine is a little bit more, she's like this kind of a, almost like a pukey green. She's like a pukey kind of green. So let's go in and add Citrine and just build that up just a little bit more. 
And again, guys, I don't know what kind of luck we're going with. We're just kind of going in here and just really seeing what we can do. I'm trying to get up in a little bit. I'll make sure that um, I pull you guys closer whenever I edit the video so you guys can see it a little bit better. But it is really, that is really pretty. Wow, of course, Natasha Denona, effortless, absolutely effortless. Um, you know what, guys? I also had this palette. I meant to pull it out and I forgot that I have a BH cosmetic palette um, that I bought last fall that I've still never got to use, but these colors are all in that too. <laughs> so I'm kind of like, I've got a few palettes now that are like similar like this, but um, but I'm glad. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm, it's a Natasha Denona palette. I'm sure I'm gonna love it. Um, cause it's like her stuff just, you know, you can't go wrong with her stuff. Her stuff is so good, but that is really beautiful. Wow. That is such a beautiful kind of a unique kind of a look so far. Um, cause I definitely, I've not got to really play a lot with the pukey yellow. Like I call them pukey looking colors, like more of a, it's kind of got that really pukey looking type of look to it. But, um, that's, that's kind of what it looks like when you look at the palette. Um, so now let's go in with my, um, Gonna go in with a little bit more of a stiffer brush. Let's go in with number 12. So number 12, and we're gonna go into Valley. And Valley, she's a little bit more of a, let me do it with a different finger. She's a little bit more of this. Again, she's a little bit of a pukey brown, like a pukey brown color. Um, so, but I want it to be a little bit more intense because I'm gonna go in here and build up the crease. So I'm gonna go in and really dig in here and build up my crease. Because you guys know I've got small eyes, so I like to really build it up a lot. It looks prettier on than it does when you swatch it. So it looks really nice. And it's blending with these other colors really beautifully. That is really pretty. I think before we go any further, I think I want to do a little bit of the Mura. I want to go in to put this green shade. We want to go in with that first. And um, I want to take her up in the inside of the waterline. So we're going to do a little bit of that first. I'm gonna do is I think we're gonna do a little bit of a cut crease and then try one of these lighter colors with a little bit of the shimmer over it. With a little bit of my P. Louise eyeshadow base and this is in zero zero and she took like a very like more of a white so I can get a really I want the color to really pop. I'm gonna go in here and really start brightening that up a little bit so those those lighter colors will really pop in there. Hey, my ref this is the refer brush that I use for my um for my cut crease, and this is number 21. Um, so I'm gonna take a little bit of her and we're gonna place the fuchsia right here on this part of the lid. So don't go all the way over, I'm just going part of the way over. Just cause I'm gonna get a little more of that brighter. We're gonna do a little bit of the Camu Camu. We're gonna do a little bit of her closer to the inner. Into, um, and that one, this one by the way, that was fuchsia. That's what it looks like. And this is, um, Cammy Cammy. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place on this video today. <laughs> so now I'm gonna, I wiped up my brush, so now I'm gonna go into Cammy Cammy, and I'm gonna take her, and we're gonna place her right here, and kind of blend her into the other color, the, uh, the fuchsia color. Ooh, that's pretty. I wanna do one of the shimmers. I'm trying to think of it. Uh, you know, Plan, uh, Plantasia, I think it's Plantasia. She's a little bit more bronzy, so I don't know if I want anything bronzy or not. I'm thinking maybe more of, um, maybe Micaiah maybe, or let's try, let's see what color. Oh, let's do, um, oh, we already know what we're gonna do. We're, let's do the Co, Co, Camora, Camora Ba. We're gonna do a little bit of her, and we're gonna place her right there, oh yeah. Oh yeah, slap your mama, honey, honey, honey. Okay, all right, you know what I'm saying? That is some spark right there, y'all. That is, that is some sparkle, y'all. All right, you know what I'm saying? Hey, that is super pretty. That is super pretty. Wow, and I barely even put my finger in it. Now I will tell you that these, the shimmers or the more of the metallic shades, be careful because they're very soft. They're very, very soft. If you play with Natasha's colors before, then you kind of know. But wow, that is just instant. That's just okay, guys. So now I wet my brush. I'm gonna. This is an old Morphe brush. It's a 56 brush. I'm gonna use it. Um, and then we're gonna go into the shade Willow. So I'm gonna go in Willow, and we're gonna use Willow like a liner. So we're gonna use Willow like a liner. I'm gonna just take her right here above my lash line, and really just start working her out be a perfect liner. I want it to blend into the shadow, so I don't want it to be 
like a perfect liner, like a perfect line. I just wanted to kind of give it a little bit of a definition, but then I just blurred it. So that just to blur it out some, just to give a little bit of diffusion. But that is really pretty. That is a beautiful color. A so, Calithia too. So now I'm gonna take a little bit of Calithia and mix Calithia and Willow for underneath. So we're gonna go a little bit underneath with both of those. I kind of give a little bit more definition underneath here. Okay, and so I took Willow and I took Willow a little bit up in here after doing it up under here. So I just took her a little bit more deeper into my crease just to make it look a little bit more deeper, more dramatic. By the way, if you haven't guessed, this is going to be a dramatic look, so just throwing it out there. So anyway, <laughs> full all in all dramatic look all the way around. So now let me take a big fluffy brush. Let's take the number 16 and I'm going to dip her in a uh, Ray, which is Ray is like a really beautiful, it's a very pretty color. It's a very, like got a little bit of green to it, just a little bit. And I'm going to go right up underneath the brow and just add a little shine. Usually I don't like doing a lot of shine up underneath the brow, but I thought we would just add a little bit of that up underneath the brow because it just looks so, so pretty. And then we just, and we have it. So I was like, well, why not use it? By the way, guys, my brows don't look the best today, but it, it is what it is. You know, we're, we're a, I mean, just roll with the punches. But wow, look how pretty that is. That is really beautiful. Okay, so we're almost, we're almost getting done with this side eye. I just want to take some of the Fuchsia eyeliner, and we're going to go in the inner waterline, and I'm just going to add some of that in there. Okay, guys, so um, I, this is with the lash. I put on like a little half lash. I did a little bit of the, um, I think there's the little white dress. There are the Ardell, the Fox Me lashes. We did a little bit of that. So this is one side done already. So you can see the big difference, how beautiful it looks. It looks so pretty. I haven't done concealer yet. I just did a little bit of corrector and underneath a little bit of this um, Huda Beauty corrector. I just did a little bit of it. I'm um, in the pink pomelo and then we'll do a concealer later. Super beautiful. It looks really pretty. It really smoothed out. I just really love this palette. This palette is really gorgeous. So um, if you love these kind of colors and you love this kind of a color story, I definitely would recommend picking this up. Um, I will say these liners here, they're waterproof. So they definitely stay on because um, I can already tell that before I, I, they were starting to dry down, uh, they don't want to come off. So they do stay in really well. Um, it'll be interesting to see how this Natasha Denona, how it lasts. But, um, but yeah, all in all, it looks really beautiful. I really like this palette a lot. Love the color story. Um, so now with that said, let's dive into the Nomad one. We are going to start off with the color. This is Marimi Game Reserve. So she's a little similar similar to the one we started off with in the Natasha palette. Um, so I'm gonna dip my brush in the same brush, 101. I cleaned it off already. So I'm just gonna go in and just start kind of like building that up a little bit. I love Nomad Cosmetics. They're so awesome. I love the company. Um, it's just, they're so, they're such a good company and they're so sweet and I really do enjoy it. And I'm so glad that they sent me PR. I can't wait to see what their Halloween palette's gonna look like this year. It looks like it's gonna be a Sleepy Hollow one. Last year, it was so beautiful. Their, it, the fall one was absolutely gorgeous and I absolutely loved it. They did send me the um, the Royal palette and I never got to play with it much. I got to play with it a little bit, but not a ton. But yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a really beautiful palette too, but yeah, so far it's looking good. My brush is a little damp, so it's kind of like blending in a little different. But it's really pretty. It's a different color than the definitely than over in the Natasha palette. Um, so it's going on a little bit more difficult, but I think it's just because my brush is a little wet. But it is a really, that's a beautiful color though. Let's go into number 14. So let's change it and go into number 14. And let's go into... Um, an elusive leopard. So let's go into this. So the elusive leopard looks like this. So she's like a really pretty brown shade. So I'm gonna go in and add elusive leopards to this over this just to build it up a little bit more. Just to give it a little bit more smoothness. That's better. Now my brush is not wet. So the other one was a little wet. So it wasn't going on as good. It was going on a little patchy, but that was because my brush was a little damp from the brush cleaner. But um, this is a really pretty color. I'm really liking that. I like that. That's a really pretty color. So let's go into it. They're not going to look exactly alike, guys. So 
it's not going to happen like that because they're just, they're similar in similarities, but they're not completely similar. So, um, Vimbara Plains is the next one. So, let's do a little bit. So, we'll take a little bit of that green. I'm going to go in with the same brush, my number 14. We're going to go with it and just kind of go in and start adding a little bit of it right over top of that other shade. It's giving a really beautiful vibe, though. Look how pretty that is. That's a really beautiful kind of a vibe. I really like that. I might go in, I don't know, I might end up adding a little bit in it. I know I'm gonna use the Fushi in the waterline for sure. Um, for sure, I'm definitely gonna use the Fushi, but pretty that is. That's a really beautiful muted kind of look. I really like that, that's gorgeous. Really nice. Okay, so now let me take a little bit of, um, let's go in with my pencil. We'll go in with my pencil one. This is the 03, um, and let me clean it off. And go into the, let's go into Pack of Wild Dogs. I'm sorry, let me get a better swatch. Pack of Wild Dogs. We're gonna go into it. She's more of like a, a brown color. It's a little bit more of a deeper brown color. So I'm gonna go in with it and we're just gonna go right in the crease and start building up my crease a little bit more before we do our cut crease, just to make it look a little bit more deeper. And then I'm gonna go over with the green. So we're gonna add that green in with it too. Okay, so now I'm gonna go over with um, Chief's Island and then she's a green. And we're gonna go in and start building up the crease a little bit with Chief's Island right over that brown we just did, that we just laid down. Okay, so now the crease, it's just cut, so I've already got it. Um, so now I'm going back into Chef Island again at that deep green, and I'm gonna run it along the edge down here at the bottom. And I did wet my brush a little bit. Um, so I just wanted to say that also that um, I did a little bit of that green. We did a little bit of the metallic one. I did it up underneath like I did on this side. So I just went in and added that already in my waterline. So this green is a little, definitely a more of a warmer green where the other one has a little bit more of a neutral green to it. This one's more of a warmer green. She just got a little bit of hint of like I don't want to say yellow, but it's like a little gold in it. There's almost like a little gold in the inside of it. It is really pretty. That's really beautiful. That's a really pretty, that's a pretty color. That is really pretty. Where the Natasha looks, at the, they don't look too similar. Just one is more of a neutral, just a tint more deeper. This one's got a little bit more of, uh, just a little bit more gold in it. So now I'm gonna take my Riffer 28 brush. We're gonna take it um, and I'm gonna add, we're gonna do a little, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wet a little bit. I'm gonna wet a little bit of my brush just to make sure that um, nothing falls out too much. I will meant to, meant to tell you guys that on this side with the Mata Natasha, the a little bit of her, um, this color, these here, these a little bit here, they do flake. So they do have a tendency to fall. So they do fall down. So just be weary of that. Be careful when you're using them, especially on your foundation and stuff, because it can get glitter every Everywhere, so just be careful with that. Um, but anyway, so let's see. Let's go into um, let's go into Keith uh, Nile Crocodile. Let's take a little bit in Nile Crocodile. She's a little bit more hard pan. So I'm going to warm her up a little bit. She, they pressed it a little bit harder. So let me warm it up a little bit. But that's what she looks like. So Nile Crocodile looks like that. So let me go in here with my brush now that I've warmed it up a little bit because she they pressed it a little bit harder. So I'm gonna go right here in the outer corner and blend that in. It is, that's a beautiful color. Look how pretty it just made it pop. That is really pretty. We're gonna go into the Keystone Termites. We're gonna do a little bit of her. So we're gonna go in and try her. Now she's a little bit more softer pan. So it's not as hard pan as the other one was. Ooh, that's pretty. That one is really, that's pretty. A little bit of the migrating zebra. It's a little silver-ish, but I wanna take a little bit on the inner corner, similar to the Natasha. And I wanna take just a little bit down there, a little bit right in here, just to see what it looks like. And I've got a little bit of that Keystone still on my brush. 
so it'll it'll calm down some of the silver so it won't be too silverish but that's a really pretty shade too that's really pretty that's a pretty inner corner so they're blending in pretty good guys they look i mean you look up close they're really i mean what do you guys think i mean i'm thinking they're looking similar once i do the liner on this side it's like on the top and then the 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 what is it, Fushi, the Fushi or whatever. Fushi up in the in, inner, inner realm, then it'll probably look very similar. Now I'm taking my refer brush. This is number 29. And um, we're going to dig into the Chef's Island. Again, the dark green. We're going to take her again. And we're going to build a liner here. That's better. Yeah, you needed to wet the Chef's. If you want it to be a little more liner-wise, you need to wet it. Pretty. So let's take um, let's take this one in the inside, just like we did the other. Oh, that's really pretty. What do you guys think? Okay, so I'm gonna clean up this eye. We are going to come back with the lashes and everything on, and um, then I'm gonna give you guys my final look, and we'll um, and then we'll just um, discuss just a few things real quick. Okay, everybody. So this is what the finished look looks like. What do you guys think? I'm feeling a little bit of tippy headrain going on from the birds. <laughs> I decided to do a bright coral lipstick. I did Mel Thompson and uh, Christian Audet, the color Puffin. Um, I love this color that she collaborated with Christian Audet, and I wanted to use it as summer. And normally I would do more. Of a nude flip with this but I mean with this more of a dramatic eye but you know I was like you know what I'm feeling a little 50 60s inspirish so and it is summer still so we had to do a coral so I had to do something bright and something fun so this is what it comes out with um so yeah the looks look turned out really pretty I love the way it looks so you guys let me know down below what you think um especially with the yellow shirt I think it looks really pretty it looks very summery so anyway um just really quick um I loved everything um I thought that Natasha Denona palette is beautiful as so really, if you love these kind of this color story and you really enjoy these kind of colors, this would be great for you. I think it's really awesome. This one also is, again, to look at them, you can't really tell that much of a difference between the two of them. They do are very similar in ways, um, you know, even though they're a different, it's a color, different color story, but all together, and I didn't add any of this palette in with it, so it's it definitely looks, they have some similarities. It just turned out really super beautiful. Um, again, normally with this kind of an eye, I normally would do this kind of a lip, but um, but it looks really super pretty. Um, the liners are really great. Um, I didn't put them in my box, so I, I don't want to dig through it. But anyway, but the but the Mora liners are really good. They're waterproof. They seem to stay on really well. They leave a beautiful, captivating look to the eye. It would be nice to see what the bronzy one looked like because I only used the green one. And then the uh, Natasha Denona, the Yucca, it, like, it's, been, it's held in really well so far. It's held in pretty good so far. Um, so I can't complain. And my eyes have watered a little bit since I've had this makeup on. I've been, my eyes are a little watery today. So um, it's watered a little bit. So, but it stayed on pretty well for it to be watery. Um, but yeah, guys, you know, um, the eyeshadow base, I'll have to play with it a little bit more. I don't like it on the brows. Um, I put it on the brows before I did my brows. My brows have been sliding everywhere since I did that. So I don't recommend to, recommend to do that. So don't do it on your, where you put your brows. I wouldn't recommend that. But the Urban Decay, but the eyeshadow base seems to be pretty good so far. So we'll have to try it again with another look. So anyway, you know, you guys, thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe if you have not, we would love to have you as a little part of our family. Um, you also make sure you like this video. If you did not like this video, then I'm sorry about that. <laughs> to all my haters, I'm sorry I didn't, you know, that you didn't like the video. Uh, but anyway, but thank you so much. Also, uh, everything will be listed down below if you guys are interested in any of the links or if you're interested in any of the codes. If you want to get the Nomad, I have a 10% off of that. I don't have a code for Natasha Denona yet. Um, we're working on it, though. We're working on it, but not yet. I don't have one yet for you guys, but I do have one for Nomad. Um, but but uh, anyway, thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. Remember, be safe, be strong, be proud, then tall, love yourself. Remember to tell somebody that you love them today because life is way too short. And also remember to be kind because kindness goes an awful long way. And um, thank you so much for being here, and I appreciate it. You guys take care. Have a good rest of your day, and we'll see you soon. Bye.